Yo, what up? What's good? It's Intellect. The one and only homie. I don't phone these. Y'all know what it is. I get it in. Let's get it. Not cussing. But uh, Game of Thrones, episode 8, season 1. I don't know. I'm looking this way with it. <laughs> Game of Thrones, episode 8, season 1. Amazing. I, I'm, I don't know if it's just the fact that I haven't seen a new episode in so long. And I literally just finished the last episode of season 7, like, seconds before season eight started. So that's that's how much I timed it. And um, yeah, I, obviously, uh, I'm going to tell y'all when to go to spoilers. So right now we're like 30 some seconds in. So y'all good for right now. First episode was really good. Um, just It was just great to watch. It was so many, uh, so many moments. And 52 seconds spoiler alert will be starting by the time it hits one minute. Spoiler alert warning. Last warning, y'all. And spoilers, I, um, uh, Samuel Tarly finding out about his dad and then his brother, and the fact that it ties into him telling John about his lineage was just, just perfect. Uh, Sansa, you know, throwing ultra shade at, uh, what's her name? Uh, Daenerys. <laughs> awesome. She, she, she just really turned into the, the good version of Cersei, basically, just like the most capable, and smart, smart, planning strategically ahead. Just really like how our character has developed. I, one thing I really, it was weird because the season started with like, like a funny joke, like, and I was like, and then like they had this one scene that really bothered me. Not that the joke bothered me. I'm just saying like I, at first I like I was like I like the joke, I like the banter, but is this kind of you know what I mean like? lead to like you know something else but like now nah, there was a lot of actually like you know good detailed acting in this and good like writing and plot and it wasn't just like you know like what complaints about season seven were that like you know it was like all too actiony based or like too like too uh away from like how things used to set up in the other seasons and this one not that it set up many things it did set up some things but it it, it, was, it more like just uh fulfilled so many moments like Seeing uh Sans not Sans, keep saying Sans, seeing Arya, you know, finally have a reunion with John, you know what I mean? It was so dope, so good. Like especially see you see like, like, uh Arya coming back. You know what I mean? Like what I mean by that, like she's not just the face of Arya, and like, the Winterfell version of her is coming back. And like when she saw Gendry, and like you know like the way she kind of gave him that, she turned around at the very end, and gave him a smile. I was like, oh shit, she trying to get a swerve on. Feeling that, feeling that, feeling human Arya. <laughs> uh, Bran was still a little robotic, but like in a good way sometimes. Like it was funny, comedic, but it was like also like, you know, like it wasn't, it wasn't that, it was weird. Like, cause comparing it to the original Third Eye Raven, like he was, he was human. It's just like, you know, he, like he, you could, you could see the pain in his acting, especially in hindsight, cause he knows what's going to happen. He's how he's gonna die, and he's like, you know what I mean. So he kind of has like a little more soul in it. Uh, but the fact that as soon as he, as Bran saw Daenerys, she's like, y'all need to stop, yo, your your dragon's dead. He basically said like, your dragon's dead. He's one of them. The wall's down. They're gonna kill us all. I don't care what y'all saying. We need to handle this. All right, and uh, to go uh to the end of the show, like uh, but they uh, going back to season one, like you know the symbol that they saw with the and the little girl was like you know stabbed through the heart on on the on the tree and then she comes eventually comes alive later they they paid that off in this because uh the little umber kid you know r.i.p r.i.p little um he went out like a g i guess man it's like now nah, he went out like a g it's just like it sucks that he stayed up there and like so he was pinned to the wall and arms were cut off making the circle like you know what i mean like that you can see how I'm doing my fingers, and like he was like in the middle, so that was, and then like uh, uh, not I was gonna say Thor Samir, but the I can't his his name is escaping me, but uh the dude with the one eye who always dies. I'm sure y'all gonna hate me for I remember his name. I'm just so excited right now, <laughs> and he is one of my favorite. I can't I can't place his name right now. <laughs> uh, Beric Dendarian, there you go. Uh, is that Beric Dendarian? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, he uh lit his uh. Yeah, it was Thor. Yeah, Beric Dendarian. Uh, he he lit his uh his sword up and like he burned he burned it alive. And the noise it was making, I was thinking like, oh, does this mean that there's gonna be like, oh, that's funny. See the roller, got the dog. I'd uh, stay clean, y'all. Um, but yeah, uh, 
like what's it called again? Like he burned the kid alive, and then like it ended up burning all the things alive, and it was weird. It kind of looked like there was like a skull in the fire. And I don't know if it was like something about the Lord of Light, but the way that happened, it kind of made me think like that those whole theories were right about the Lord of Light and Night King maybe being the same thing. You know what I mean? But who knows? But anyway, like that was really dope. Really, really dope. I was really feeling that. And um, let's see what else. Um, oh, the Hound. Before like Gendry reunited with the, uh, with uh, Arya, him and the Hound were having a discussion because he built uh, the Hound like a, his, a really big gas. He was kind of like, uh, you know, like uh, flexing. You know, like, yeah, like, this is really hard to make. You know, this was mad difficult to make. Not saying it was... I'm great at anything. He was like, and that's basically what the hell picked up on. He was like, what do you want what do you want a medal? You want a cookie for that? He didn't say that, but you know what I mean. That vibe. And then it was like he was kinda like uh dogging him and then Ari was like, Hey, leave him alone. And then he turned around and like how like they have a little cool bag of force. He was like, You're a cold bitch. That's probably why you survived this long. <laughs> Just fire. I'm I was feeling that. And then um to switch it back, um that uh then her and Gendry had a reunion. Um and everyone knew this was going to happen, especially with the trailer, kind of give it away. One thing I didn't like about this episode is that I would see scenes, and knowing that I've seen all the trailers, I was like, oh, I, I know what's going to happen, because I've seen the scene. So, like, even though this is not the scene, like, uh, I see uh, John at, at the, what's it called again? At the Weirwood Tree, and I'm like, oh, that's when he's going to meet Arya, because I saw the trailer, because I have no self-control. So, <laughs> I watched it a billion times. So, um... Yeah, after that, you know, uh, uh, I, I don't even remember where I was going off on because I was, I was going off on that. Um, damn, I, I already lost my train of thought. First many, probably. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. The trailers gave it away that John rides a dragon. Major spoiler alert. You know what I mean? And then it uh, ties into the fact that later on he he's revealed to be who he is. And uh, the way the show ends is awesome because it's uh, uh, Jamie Lannister just you know, sneaking into Winterfell, then, like, kind of looking back to, like, the places that he remembers, like, from, like, the first episode, and all of a sudden, boom, he turns around, there's just Bran just sitting there, like, and boom, and, like, you know, like, the, what's it called again, the music comes in, and then, like, uh, what's it called again, the teaser for next week, kind of showed some of the things where he's talking about, like, he, he, he came to fight for the living type of stuff. And sadly, the trailers give away the fact that he does fight for the living because you see him fighting for the fight of Winterfell. So, you know what I mean? But, uh, man, like, you know, uh, Daenerys is kind of giving vague threats. Like, oh, my brother used to talk about the guy who killed the Mad King, what we would do to him, da-da-da. I was like, shh, shh. Don't touch Jamie Lannister. Shut up. Let him fight. That's it. Um, <laughs> that's the homie right there. Oh, and Cersei uh, finally gave uh, Euron some nookie. Yeah, you know I mean Cause that that definitely happened. They smashed. You know what I mean? It was official. <laughs> so you can that, that was the scene at the end where you see her with the drink in the trailer. Where Shonda looks like uh, sad and concerned. That was it. Uh, the, another scene from the trailer that like I I knew was gonna happen before that. It was when uh Cersei is looking at the Golden Company coming in and um. Uh, Kyburn walks up and he's like, and he looks all concerned. He's con and his concern is because they have news that the wall has fallen, and she's like, "Good." And he's looking at like, um, "What?" Even I'm not that crazy. I'm Kyburn and I'm concerned. But Kyburn does have a dope scene when it's like bronze in a brothel and he's smashing three chicks, and then like he, he clearly points to the blonde one when he says it, but like Bron wasn't paying attention, and he was like, "Oh, poor girl." She died from pox in a year. And he was like, which girl? Which girl? Which girl? Like, hurry up. <laughs> it was just funny. And it was like, but I know that's not what Game of Thrones is known for. But it's like, has some good comedic moments, which I could, I've, I'm pretty sure people, especially the purists of the, of the, the purest who like the show and like the books. Spoiler alert, I have one of the books and I, uh, which is Fire and Blood. And I've, I've read the first book. Amazing book. Um. So I gotta catch up, obviously. But um, I can see the point. But it's like, yeah, I, I liked it. So it's like it's on you. Do you like it or not? You can choose to be that person. Don't be that person. Don't be that person. Um, cause that person's never happy. Should be happy in life. As uh, Varys said, it's like you know, like 
uh, uh, something about harsh truth. I think it was somewhere online, but he was like, uh, you know, I'm like nothing lasts forever. Everything ends. Some it was along that line too. It was a great line. Like him and Tyrion just had amazing back and forth. It's a little comedic too. So it's like it was it was good. I was feeling it. So all around, if I have to rank the show or this episode, if I'm ranking it on a one to ten basis, which I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna add point five, I'm going to give this episode one. Season 8 of the final season of Game of Thrones, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. It ain't going to be no things like that because I ain't editing this because that's going to take too much time. <laughs> so 8.5 out of 10. Love the episode. Paid off so many great moments. And, you know, the threat of the Night King is ever looming. Not shown once. Just there. Which is some great, you know what I mean? Like, just subtle... uh storytelling it's like you don't see the enemy but the threat is there like you never see the night king you never see the army you just see that one kid stuck up on the wall which was you see like a lot of blood but you don't see anybody because they walk up and like you know uh 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 thorn and giant spain I, 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 I always mess up his first name but giant spain because i one of the characters who i like but i can't remember his name and he another character who i like who i can't remember is i remember pip but i don't remember this dude's name Pip has been there for years, but I still remember Pip. I can't remember this whose name. He's the Lord Commander of the Night's Watch now. They both end up meeting each other with a Beric and Darian, and that's when they find a kid hung up on a wall in, inside the Great Hall. So it was it was a, it's funny because uh, the Beric and Darian was like, "This is a message from the Night's King," and it's like, "How would you know?" And that, that's what I mean. That's what kind of ties into my thing. Like him and the Lord of Light might be either the same thing, or obviously opposed sides. But it's like something that he clearly recognized. So it's like. So yeah, great show. Enjoyed it. Hope y'all enjoyed it. It's an amazing time to be alive. And y'all hope, hope y'all have a beautiful day. Take care. I would have done this live, but apparently uh, YouTube doesn't allow me to broadcast live from my mobile phone because it doesn't meet the requirements as far as my channel. FYI, that means I get no views and they're like, yeah, we're not going to waste any bandwidth on you. So <laughs> hope y'all enjoyed. Intellect, the one and only homie. I don't mess around with phonies, aka I'm intellect. Hi, yo. The guy with the nice flows in the bit of LIGO. I know. Let's get it. Have a good day. Take care. Peace. And stop. Now.